What's going on, smart people? Today I want to talk about something that really contributed to me enjoying my time as a physics major, and that was joining the Society of Physics Students. What this video is not, is it's not going to be me saying, you should join SPS National because of all of these benefits. That would be a very boring video in my opinion. The information's online, I'll link it in the description if you want to know about National SPS. But today I want to talk about it from a more local perspective. I want to share why joining SPS at my university, which was Old Dominion University, just made my quality of life better, and maybe convince you along the way to join for yourself. SPS is a student organization that's full of physics majors, but you don't have to be a physics major to join. For example, one of our members was a computer science major who just so happened to be smarter in physics than all of us. In SPS we would have events every now and then, like for example we would drop pumpkins off of a seven story building into containers and try to catch them without them breaking, or every other week we would have either physics game or physics movie night where we'd all go to the planetarium, project either a game or a movie onto the dome, and sit back and watch the movie and eat pizza. Now those events were super fun and they were something to look forward to, but what really made SPS special for me was being able to go to school every day and have a group of people who cared about the thing that I like to talk about. Physics. The environment is what I miss the most. We had a crappy couch, we had some desks and some slow computers and a whiteboard and we made the most of it. That's probably the opposite of convincing. I'm gonna have to edit that out. Now of course that I graduated, SPS has way more fancy stuff and I'm a little jealous, but what really makes it worth joining is the community. They were the ones that encouraged me to bring a camera around when I had like 10 subscribers and they were the ones that did that you laugh you lose video that has like over 100,000 views now. We'd all roll up to the same class together and then leave, go back to the SPS lounge invent about not understanding what that class was about. But it also wasn't all about physics. Sometimes we'd all just sit around and watch Rick and Morty in the lounge or we'd play stupid games. We would do some stupid things in SPS. Very stupid things were created in SPS. For example, just look at this picture. What is this? There's general relativity on the right, there's a flat earth, there's all this Rick and Morty references. This is brought to you by SPS. Only we would have thought that this was funny. And I guess we just had too much time on our hands one day or something like that. But Little days like this were just awesome. But just picture you leave class one day and you walk into the SPS lounge and you just see that on the whiteboard and you're just like, I love this school. One thing that just popped into my mind actually is how many times I had big time gaps in between classes and I don't know what I would have done with that time had I not had the SPS lounge to go to afterwards. That would have been really weird. So if you're a physics major or you're about to be one, I think you should really consider joining SPS. It's just such a fun thing to be a part of. But that's going to do it for this video, guys. If you're in SPS and watching this video, let me know in the comments section what's something that you like about your school's SPS. And I'll see you guys there.